हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई अग्रवाल यस टुडेज टॉपिक इज द एनालिसिस ऑफ थ्री इंच सेगमेंटल आर्च नाउ द लर्निंग आउटकम्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सेगमेंटल आर्च एंड ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू कैलकुलेट इंटरनल प्रोसेस ऑफ सेगमेंटल आर्च नाउ दिस इज अमरिक थ्री इंच A segmental arch hinged at the springing point and a crown has a span of 40 meter and a central rise of 8 meter. It carries a udl of 40 kN per meter over the left half of the span and concentrated load of 200 kN at a right quarter span. Find the normal thrust, radial shear and bending moment at a distance 7 meter from the left support now first we understand the uh, concept of the segmental arch a part of a circular arch is called as a segmental arch now what is here segmental arch part of circular arch is called as segmental arch now the we learn here the property of this circular arch now suppose this circular arch and here hinge at the springing point springing point means from where the arch will start that is called as a springing point this is third inch first inch and the second inch now here for the circular arch now suppose any point here p where we want the internal forces so this angle is theta Now suppose this is the normal thrust. This vertical is the radial shear. This we call as the vertical shear, and here is the horizontal reactions now here is a horizontal reactions h here is the horizontal reaction h then vertical reactions pa here vertical reaction the bb now this angle and the this angle is the same also this angle is also the same now for the circular arch now suppose in the case of the parabolic arch we are taking the axis from the springing point or support you know, but in the case of the circular arch we have to take the x from the center x is from the center and this line is r this is also the r and this also is a r so now the property of this circular arch is the now we want this theta for the calculation of the radial shear and the normal thrust so here is sin theta sin theta this theta is equal to what this is a x the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse so x divided by the r and this x is major from the major from the 
मेजर फ्रॉम सेंटर देन हाउ टू फाइंड द आर हाउ टू फाइंड द आर सो दैट फॉर्मूलाइज द एच इन ब्रैकेट टू आर माइनस एच इज इक्वल टू एल बाई टू ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर एंड नाउ सपोज दी डिस्टेंस इज वाय एंड दिस स्पैन इज अर then how to find this y location of this p from this the span so that y is equal to under root r square minus x square minus under root r square minus l by 2 square and total the square so here we have to this use the three formula for the theta is sin theta x by r then calculation of the uh, r and this calculation of the y now we draw here the loading diagram for this problem the 3 inch parabolic 3 uh, inch segmental arch having the span 40 meter and central lies 8 meter and there is a yield of 40 km per meter on the left half of this arch now here we draw here the arch first suppose like this here is arch 3 inch arch 3 inch segmental arch is a hinge at the support and here hinge at the crown is now subjected to a udl on the left half portion and the point toward on the right quarter span that is the 200 kN and here is a 40 kN per meter and also this central rise is the 8 meter and this span is a 40 meter this is support a support b and this is a crown is a c now the right quarter means here total is a 40 so this is a 10 meter and we want the here at this location at 7 meter at 7 meter we want the normal thrust and the radial shear also the a bending moment now first we calculate the reactions for that for the simplicity we consider this as a simply supported beam this reaction is va this reaction is vb now apply this udl is 40 km per meter and this load is the 200 km this span is a this is a 10 meter and this total is the 40 meter this is 20 meter now we can see that sigma m a is equal to 0 clockwise positive anti clockwise the negative so we can say that here at this a point this is b so at a clockwise is a 40 into 20 into 10 is a clockwise udl now this as the force is clockwise 200 into the 20 plus 10 it is a 30 and this reaction is minus vb into 40 and this total is equal to 0 so we got here the vb is equal to 350 km here apply the sigma fy condition and we got here the va is equal to 650 km now is the to find the h so here if you want to find the h so take the 
बेंडिंग मोमेंट एट क्राउन और एट द क्राउन और यू कैन सी दैट इज अट द सेंट्रल हिंज एट सेंट्रल हिंज सेंट्रल हिंज and we know that at hinge is the bending moment is the zero so that is the b moment the formula is the same b moment minus the h moment or thrust moment and here for this condition is zero so now the b moment is from the left side now from the we can say from the left side so from left side b moment is here so what is it what is the b moment this va into the 20 is a sagging bending moment so what is positive va is equal to how much va is equal to 650 va is equal to the 650 650 into 20 then this load minus 40 into 20 into 10 minus 40 into 20 into 10 in minus the h moment so h into now here this is the h at this location is a h so we are taking moment at the here so here is h create the hogging moment so h into this h h into this h so h into the 8 so h into the 8 is equal to 0 So we got here h is equal to 625. So in this way we got the all the reactions, vertical reactions V A V B and the horizontal reaction H. Now next is to find the normal thrust. That is the n is equal to. We know the formula V. sin theta plus h cos theta so here we have the h 625 now the v is a vertical shear force at the 7 meter because we want the as per the problem what here we want the at 7 meter so here 7 meter this is a 7 meter So drop this here. So also is seven meter. So we want the V at the seven meter. So how to find this V? V is equal to what? This V A is left side upward is positive, and this load is a minus because left side downward is a minus. So we can say that here V is equal to six fifty minus U D L is a forty. Into seven, so that is equal to the three seventy kilometer. So we got here the V is equal to three seventy. Then we find here the theta. Now theta is equal to what formula is the sine x by r. Now x is from the center. So x. Is equal to from the center. It means what is we this is x. Now this we know is seven meter. Total is the twenty meter. So twenty minus seven is the thirteen. So we got here x is equal to the thirteen meter. Now remaining is the what r. So for that r we know the formula here h. In bracket, two R minus H is equal to L by two bracket square. This formula we have already written on this initially here. H in bracket two R minus H bracket two bit is equal to L by two square. So here H is equal to the eight two R minus eight is equal to 
is 40 divided by 2 bracket square. So here we got R is equal to the 29 bit. So sin theta is equal to x is equal to 30 and r is equal to 29. So we got here theta is equal to 26.63. So we can say that here is theta. So here we got the v and we got theta, we have the h. So n is equal to, so n, n is equal to v cos theta. V is how much? Is 370. n is equal to what? A v sin theta. V sin 26.63 plus h is equal to the 625 cos of 26.63 so this is equal to the 724.54 km so we got here this here normal thrust is equal to 724.54 the next is the q that is the q is equal to the radial shear radial shear. The formula is the here V cos theta minus H sin theta. So V we know V is equal to the 370 cos of 26.63 minus 625 sin of 26.63. So here we got the value 50.60 kilometer. So we got here the Q is equal to. Now the last part that is the of bending moment. So now last part is the bending moment. at 7 meter at 7 meter so we know always bending moment is equal to the b moment minus the h moment minus h moment so we can see that b moment now suppose here So this is our B moment. Now first we write here the B moment. This is the UDL 200 km. This is the 40 km per meter. This is the VA is how much? 650 and this is the 350. Kilometer kilometer. Now we want the B moment at the 7 meter. So we write here is equal to 650 into 7 is sagging bending moment. Then this create the homing bending moment by the UDL. So minus the 40. into 7 into 7 by 2 then minus h into the y now where is the y here now this is the y this distance from here up to this span is y so now how to find this y this is the formula here. 
y is equal to under root r square minus x square minus r square minus l by 2 square and the square root. So we write here the y is equal to y is equal to r square minus the x square square root minus again the square root it is the r square minus l by 2 square so r is equal to the 29 square x is equal to the 13 because we are measuring this x from the center for the segmental arch then minus again 29 square minus here 40 by 2 this bracket square and the total is a square root so here we got the value is 4.92 meter so we can say that here the bending moment at 7 meter is equal to is 650 into 7 minus 40 into 7 square by 2 minus we know h is equal to the 625 into 4.92 so this moment is the 495 u kilo meter meter so bending moment at 7 meter so this is equal to the positive it means the second bending moment so in this way we got the normal shear or normal thrust then radial shear and the bending moment at the location of a cylinder. Thank you.